hello everyone this is devan shukrwal so today we will see how we can uh, change the pagination uh, there are multiple uh, type of pagination that we will see in this video so uh, this is a simple html file which we have and here we have uh, the bootstrap uh, as you can see in the line we have added uh, uh, the bootstrap here and we have also added the uh, jquery and also we have jquery data table so these are the things we have in the in the header uh, in the body we have a table which is containing uh, containing the header uh, here we have six uh, columns uh, this is this is it in the body and in the script we have uh, we have the data array, data array which is containing the data uh, and also we have uh, uh, we have uh, this we have added the data table in this example uh, uh, id table we have associated uh, we have added the data in data array in data we have columns as you can see uh, name position of this like similar uh, column names we have given so uh, whenever uh, whenever uh, the data table will load it will uh, associate it with the particular uh, with a particular column All right so and also we have uh paging so we, we want to show this pagination search so we want to display the search and we have ordering here so these are the things we have <clears throat> now if you if now let's start what to what what to, what's the purpose of this video so now what i will do is we i will add a, a new uh, property here uh, paging type so uh, with this jquery data table we get uh, uh, some uh, pagination pagination type okay so let's say if i want to display the numbers only in the pagination so just i add a uh, paging type uh, value as numbers and we'll save it and you will see a single number here then uh, upon increasing the data you will see uh, we have uh, three pages now and here we have put 26 entries in total okay let's add uh, more data here okay so as you can see we have six pages so uh, and you can add more and you will see uh, uh, more pages uh, added to edit the previous pagination all right so now the next is uh, simple pagination like uh, previous next me so here you can see only with these two buttons you are able to go to the next page and come back to the previous page. Uh, we have uh, one more uh, that is called simple number. So this will give you the previous uh, next button and the uh, and the pagination um, like the pages page numbers already. So so here you have seven pages previous and next button. Now the next we have is full. So here we have first, previous, next, and last. So next, when you go next, you will see the next page uh, loaded. When you go, when you click on the first, it will be redirected to the first page, and when you click on the last, then you will be redirected to the last page. So this is how full works. Then we have full numbers. So yeah, uh, as you can see, we have uh, first, previous, and all the numbers and the next and last so everything uh, whatever i showed you till now uh, everything uh, is here and the last we have first last number so uh, so what i am going to show this will hide the previous and the next button it will keep the first and last and the uh, and the pages one to seven so as you can see this is the result for this uh, type of pg uh, now, what? Uh, let's say if you want to uh, show only the three uh, 
pages okay not all the seven pages so when you click on second page you will see one two three page you so click three you will see two three and four uh, pages uh, in the pagination all the other uh, uh, page numbers will be hidden so one five and six and seven will be hidden only two three four uh, will be visible if you click on uh, if you select third page okay so this is how we will uh, this type of variation we will see how we can implement so we have one function that is that is called draw callback so whenever you uh, search something whenever you select the pagination sorry whenever you uh, select the number of entries you want to display uh, by selecting this drop down or whenever you click on any of the uh, any of the page uh, page button like if i click on four so what what happens is it uh, automatically uh, calls a function that is called draw callback on this draw callback function we uh, we want to we only want to display three uh, pages not all the pages okay so for that i have already written the code uh, I will just copy and paste here and we will go over this code now. So uh, we have uh, the page info. So this will give the entire uh, uh, information of the page, like what is the current page, uh, what is the total number of pages, uh, like these kind of information. Okay. So here we have total number of page, here we have current um, current page. So we have on the fourth number of page, it is adding one. So uh, basically it starts with zero. So that is why it is adding one in here. Yeah, so basically uh, we have this visible pages. So how many number of pages we want to display? Uh, for that we have added this so if i increase this to four it will display the four pages okay now what here we are doing here what uh, what we are trying to do is we are iterating each uh, each pagination uh, button all right and we are trying to see if we can hide it or not okay so let's say so right now it is in button one so the current page will be like one and the button page uh this will give give us one right because it is on the first page uh, at this using this one we will decide like we, we want to hide this um this button or we want to show it okay so false means we want to uh, we don't want to show the uh button all right now here we have uh, the logic we have written uh, based on this logic we are uh, checking if we can uh, display the button or not so so in this key in our case the button one and we want to show button four five six, six and seven so uh, okay so for button one one two we want to show so it will uh, what it will do it will uh, come into the else part and it will sorry it will come into the if part and remove the dnun class what dnun is what dnun do is it is uh, basically uh, if we remove this class it will uh, it will show the button if we add this class then it will uh, uh, hide this button all right so this dnun uh, dnun class provided by bootstrap okay so without bootstrap uh, this this will not work so make sure that you have added uh, uh, bootstrap here so or what you can do you can implement your own also so this will be very simple or let's say also we as you can see we have uh, this first previous next and last 
next and last one. So this button we don't want to hide. So that is why we are always removing the none button or the none class. And for others, we are uh, based on the condition we are display displaying in the new window. So I will upload this code in GitHub. So you will be able to easily access uh, to this code. Uh, if you haven't subscribed our channel, so make sure uh, click on the subscribe button 